Welcome to the Sidra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll teach you how to use the Volumes Excel utility for Sidra Intersection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Volumes is an Excel application developed using the Sidra Intersection application programming interface. It allows the same site in a project to be processed using different sets of volumes and related data specified within Excel. The volumes utility can be used as an alternative for entering volume data directly into your project. The volumes utility includes the output sheets named Volume Output, Intersection Output, Movement Output, Lane Output, and Pedestrian Output. The Sidra Intersection Output data will be included in these sheets. The Peak Flow Factor Calculator is provided for improved understanding of the Peak Flow Factor concept. The Volumes Utility is a macro-enabled Excel file with file extension XLSM, which requires use with MS Office 2019, 2016, 2013, or 2010. Before this utility can be used, a licensed version of Sidra Intersection must be installed on your computer, and a Sidra Intersection project file needs to be prepared. The Volumes utility can be downloaded for free from our Sidra support site. We have included the link to this download page in the description section on YouTube for this video. Let's learn how to use Volumes. The first time you open the Excel file, you may get a security warning asking you to enable macros. Click to enable. If the macros do not run on your computer, please contact your IT department. It's important to note that you do not use a Sidra Intersection project file and the volumes utility at the same time, since this may result in data updating errors. The control sheet contains buttons to perform the various functions provided by the utility. Start by choosing a site which has been created in a Sidra Intersection project file. In the control sheet, click the Open Sidra Intersection Project File button and browse for the project file which contains the site you wish to work with. Select the folder and then select the site from the drop down list. In the Volume Input Sheet, you can see tables with default input values of Volumes, Peak Flow Factor, Flow Scale, and Growth Rate. The tables are included by Movement Class. Pedestrian volumes appear separately at the bottom of the sheet. To copy across any existing volume and related data from the selected site into the utility, Go to the Control Sheet and click the Get Volumes button. The input data copied from the Sidra Intersection project will become visible in the Volume Input Sheet. You can modify the input data in the Volume Input Sheet. Once complete, return to the Control Sheet. The output sheets will be populated when you use the Process No Volume Update or Update Volumes and Process functions. The Process No Volume Update function will ignore the data in the Volume Input Sheet and process the site with the original volume data entered in the Sidra Intersection project.
The Update Volumes and Process button will transfer the volume input data prepared in Excel to the selected site in the SIDRA Intersection project and process the site using the data transferred from the volumes utility. When these process functions are used, the Movement Output Sheet showing various vehicle movement performance values will open automatically. Results for pedestrians are given in the Pedestrian Output Sheet. The output sheets are very similar to the corresponding output reports in SIDRA Intersection. You can easily copy and paste them into your own reports. The Volumes utility can also be used to transfer the data contained in the Volume Input Sheet to a site in a different project or in the same project. In the Control Sheet, select another site from the drop-down list, or open another project and select the site you wish to transfer data to, and then click the Update Volumes and Process button. The Clear function will close the SIDRA intersection project, clear the output sheets, set the values in the volume input sheet to defaults, and hide the volume input tables. Any changes made to the current SIDRA intersection project through processing in Excel are temporary until the Save SIDRA intersection project file function in the control sheet is used. If you click the Clear button before saving your project, you will be prompted to save or not to save the changes made to the SIDRA intersection project file as a result of the use of this Excel application. The last sheet, named Peak Flow Factor, operates independent of other calculations in the Volumes utility. It includes a graphical display, provided for improved understanding of the peak flow factor concept. Let's alter the peak flow period and the peak flow factor to see their effect on the graph. The peak flow factor sheet may also be used to calculate a peak flow factor from known volume values. Users with knowledge of Excel and Excel VBA programming may customize the volumes utility. For example, Batch processing of SIDRA sites can be developed importing volume data from external files. Documents giving technical information are available at our website to help programmers who want to develop API applications for SIDRA Intersection. This concludes our tutorial on the Volumes Excel utility for SIDRA Intersection. Thank you for watching.